Good morning and welcome back to Live at the Legislature, where every week we talk to members of the House of Representatives about the bills, issues, and happenings at the Hawaii State Capitol. This week we have Representative Richard Onishi with us, the Chairman of the House Tourism Committee. Representative Onishi represents House District 3, which stretches from South Hilo to Punalu'u. Representative, good morning. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. Oh, good. Um, let's talk about tourism. That's, that's your chairmanship, and it's, of course, the engine that runs Hawaii, many people say. Exactly. What are some of the things you're interested in this session? What are some of the bills, such as uh, oh, um, the HTA audit? or Let's talk about what you're doing right now. Okay, well, the HTA audit is an audit that was required every five years. In this case, it was done a little bit early because last session we had a bill that was requesting that the audit be done right away um, because of some concerns and issues. So the audit covers normally a five-year span. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it covered a little bit over four years from uh, July 2013 to the present. Um, what a lot of people don't understand is that the audit was critical on a number of parts uh, regarding HTA's administration and some of their programs. But that period of time, we had two different administrations. Mm -hmm. And the beginning half of that audit was part of the administration that was previous, who in 2013 got a very, very bad audit in oh. regards to how it was managing HTA and the, the funds. So since uh, the middle of 2015, we've had a new administration. And that new administration, so I've been involved in the tur as tourism chair since 2016. Okay. And so I've been participating actively with HTA and the tourism industry so that I can fully understand what they're doing and some of the issues that they are encountering. And I can say that my assessment of HTA is that it is improving. I see. There's still more work that needs to be done, obviously, um, but they have taken, I think, great leaps forward in terms of trying to be more accountable. So it's like two different stories, the first part of HTA and then the second exactly. part. Exactly. And you think they're on a good line moving forward? I think then. they're doing a, a good job in progressing forward and addressing the concerns that were brought up in both audits. I see. Well, another big tourism issue is um, short-term rentals. Um, on the Big Island, are you seeing short-term rentals like, like the rest of the state? And what are we? What does the house want to do about that? Well, on the Big Island, obviously, you know, we have a lot more land. Uh, neighbors are not so close together. There are some pockets where um, we've seen seen increased in uh, unpermitted use mm -hmm. uh, of single-family homes or multifamily homes. Um, but because the Big Island is very large and you know uh, less populated. We don't see the same impacts as on Oahu, where they're beginning to infiltrate uh, smaller residential communities mm -hmm. and you know, creating some concern with the local residents. So it is a big issue, and the House has um, been working on this issue for three years. And you know, we passed the bill, both the House, uh, the House and the Senate passed the bill two years ago to allow for Airbnb to be a tax collector. The governor vetoed it. Right. Last year, we worked the entire year trying to get a measure that the governor would be willing to support. We weren't able to accomplish that. The governor's office said that they would move forward with an MOU to do the tax collection. Uh, they came up with an agreement. The governor decided not to sign it again. Um, so now we're in this situation. So the House has taken the direction that we are going to do the enforcement of our laws, both tax collection and business registration requirement, that whether you're legal or illegal, you should be following. So I the see. House has introduced funding to increase the enforcement by the Department of Taxation. 
okay. to put more investigators out there specifically to address the TAT collections and uh, the, the associated excise tax. We are also um, looking at the definition of transit accommodations to include both accessory dwelling, single family units, and multifamily units, which mm -hmm. is not in the current definition. And we are also providing some enforcement money to the counties to allow them to enforce their zoning ordinances if they have in place certain types of requirements. For example, a separate uh, tax rate, mm -hmm. property tax rate for short term rental um, types of uh, properties. So we kind of have to know who the players are, who all the <coughs> the short-term rentals are, and then we can get a handle on exactly. taxes but this is and a, enforcement. This is a very complex issue because um, the enforcement of land use is a county responsibility, not the state. I see. And, and we're the state, obviously. Right. Yeah. Well, can we talk a little bit about some big island issues? Um, Education and highways. I mean, the Big Island's a big place, and you've got to be able to drive, and the schools are far apart. Exactly. Where, where, what are you working on about those two issues? Well, my district extends 56 miles along the Volcano Highway, Highway uh -huh. 11. And most of my districts, in terms of state government facilities, are schools and the highway. So I've been focused since I've gotten in uh, six years ago to focus on helping the schools ensure that we have adequate facilities and resources in order for the schools to operate and help educate our children that are in my district. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I've been doing is we've been adding funding to improve the safety of Highway 11, which is the major thoroughfare from my district into Hilo. What's the condition of the highway now? The highway is pretty good. There are just some safety issues where roads intersect with the highway. Uh -huh. And so we're trying to improve that. Uh, we have a bridge that's a one lane bridge that's been there forever. So we were able to get uh, CIP funding in order to improve that bridge and make it a two way bridge I to see. make it a lot safer. Roads always need maintenance. They always. get so much use and yeah. Okay, well. Thank you for joining us this morning. I think we've learned something about tourism and a little bit about the <laughs> Big Island. So, and thank you all for joining us too. We'll see you again next week for Live at the Legislature. Mm -hmm.